What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be starting a freshwater pond. I smell bacon. Ah. Alright guys, what's going on? It's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today what we're going to be doing is something a little bit different and you can see that the setting has changed. We are outside in the backyard and this is a project that I wanted to do for a very long time and I'm finally going to do it. What we're going to be doing is putting together a freshwater pond, more specifically a hillbilly pond or hobo pond or ghetto pond. Uh, whatever you want to call it you guys actually decide you leave a comment down below and Decide what we're gonna call this project. So hillbilly pond Hobo pond ghetto pond poor man's pond leave a comment down below. Let me know So the idea behind this was to actually originally do a freshwater Ghetto build and the tank that I had put out here uh, to just kind of collect some rainwater actually broke um, so that got scratched but I did have a tub and I think you guys have seen this in past videos originally what this tub was for was raising chickens um, I have since not raised chickens I eventually wanted to use it for some type of project with Mad Hatter's Reef and I was gonna use it for uh, a coral grow out tank but that didn't pan out because I had this below my quarantine system and at one point when I was acclimating fish into the quarantine system, which was medically treated with copper, the water had run into that tub. Now I'm a little bit nervous to use it for anything other than fish or a freshwater project. And that's where we've landed with this one. We're going to be doing a outdoor above ground pond. And what I'm gonna be doing is setting it up. We're gonna fill it up and we're gonna get the cycle going on this pond and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for fish in this pond but it isn't going to be your typical pond fish. I may have to put a heater in here uh, just to make sure these fish have the temperature that they need but ultimately let's get started with the freshwater pond build. Alright guys so here is the new pond and this is actually made for livestock. I believe it's like a watering tub. A lot of the rubber made, this is a no name brand but there's a lot of Rubbermaid uh, stock tanks that people use in the aquatic side of things uh, but this is a 90 gallon and on the bottom it has some aragonite and crushed coral. I did pull some of the aragonite out of the pond just so I could get it from the basement outside and I'm going to be adding that back into the pond as well as filling it up so we can start the cycling process. Now the aragonite that's in this pond is going to buffer the water. Well, my hope is that it's going to buffer the water because the fish that I am going to be putting in this pond are fish that like water with a higher pH. And I'm hoping that this aragonite and crushed coral that is in this pond is going to buffer the water. Uh, but we'll see what happens once we get this up and going. So a lot of what this is, a little bit of it is aragonite from reef tanks and a lot of it is crushed shells for chickens. Now chickens need uh, calcium in their diet uh, to form uh, strong eggs. And when I was buying this stuff and I was looking at it, um, I thought that it would make for a really good sand bed, a really deep, good sand bed. And I just threw it in the bottom of this tub. When I moved the tub out of the basement, I basically threw it in these buckets just to make it a little bit easier to move but ultimately uh, we're going to put this right back into the pond and hopefully this is going to buffer the water for us. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this baby up.
right, so it's a little uneven, but I'm not that worried about it. Uh, the next step for this, and we're going to do that in the next video, is get a cycle going in here. And we're probably going to throw some rocks in here, as well as uh, some fish. I haven't completely narrowed it down for what kind of fish that I'm going to be putting in this pond. Uh, but it is going to be a fish that's going to require a heater and some very high pH water. But all in all, very happy with where we are at so far. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time right here with a brand new video. Yeah, yeah, yeah.